Foreign Secretary Liz Truss is in Brussels to meet with G7 leaders and, of course, some NATO leaders as well, where she's expected to push for a hard deadline on ending the West's reliance on Russian oil. It comes as the US and the UK agreed to send more weapons and humanitarian aid to Ukraine, with UK military chiefs saying that the next three weeks will be crucial. Well, Rear Admiral Chris Parry is a former Royal Navy commander and he joins me now. Welcome to the programme. I suppose Britain has a significant role to play here in leading uh, a, a large part of the Western world in terms of our attitude to Russian ga- uh, oil and coal, I should say, uh, being sort of halfway between the Americans and the Europeans on this, not so dependent on Russian oil and gas, but pretty dependent on the knock-on effects. Does that have a genuine military impact, these sanctions? Are we going to see uh, the, 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 the dovetailing of these two policies, a military and an economic outlook? Well, if we're going to adopt a strategic approach to Russia, then it has to be a comprehensive approach. Uh, and every aspect of every contact Uh, of engagement with Russia and its people has to be taken into account. You can't just do military or economic. It has to be cultural, uh, economic, um, ideological, if you like, uh, social and military. Uh, We uh, essentially have a very contested relationship with Russia now, and every Russian citizen has to be uh, made aware of what is being done in their name. It's extraordinary seeing what has gone on within Ukraine in the last two weeks. Uh, A really quite heroic effort from the Ukrainian armed forces, something that not many Western commentators expected uh, two months ago or just under when this all began. Um, I suppose the worry, though, is that with the redeployment of Russian troops from outside Kiev towards the east of the country, things could get a lot worse in terms of the Russian assault on Ukrainian cities? Well, I think we've got to be clear that there's been a switch in uh, Russian uh, policy and strategy. I think they've given up trying to uh, decapitate the uh, Ukrainian regime. And what they're settling for, I believe, is is an annexation of territory from the Donbass region uh, through to Crimea. So they've got a land bridge, if you like, uh, that links the Donbass with the Crimea. And I reckon that if they get that, they'll get to the 9th of May, which is their victory celebration for the Second World War, uh, and claim victory in Ukraine. And what I think we're looking at is probably um, uh, an attempted annexation of territory there that's akin to what happened to Finland at the end of the Winter War in 1940. Uh, Russia will simply uh, move across the border and annex the Donbass, the land bridge to, to Crimea, and Crimea itself, and then say, We're freezing the conflict. Uh, We're going to keep this territory. What are you going to do about it? And that is an incredibly concerning prospect because, of course, it's it's easy to envision that happening. And at that point, if the if the violence stops, if the shelling stops, if the frankly uh, almost genocidal murder stops, it's a very tricky situation to negotiate from that point. If we get to the 9th of May, and that happens, what does the West do? Well, the West uh, continues uh, to bear on Russia. Russia is not going to go away as a strategic opponent. Uh, It's occupying Ukrainian land. Uh, It's up to the Ukrainians whether they accept that sort of thing or not. Uh, But Russia also has a debt to pay. It's got to pay for the rebuilding of all the damage it's done. Uh, um, its commanders and politicians have got to pay the debt to the international community for the horrific crimes against humanity that have taken place. Uh, And let's face it, uh, Russia is a rogue regime in the world, and uh, they're going to have to accept a totally different relationship with the international rules-based system. Well, it will certainly be a very, very interesting situation. I hadn't quite clocked the 9th of May date being quite so important in the Russian psyche. Everything building up to there potentially well. For now, Rear Admiral Chris Parry, thank you for talking.